yes guys if you have been having issues with system overload you know your computer is hanging especially on macbook pro you understand starting from late you know 2011 or prior to that you know i have a solution for you in something i've been battling with for over months over the years you understand i just found out the solution honestly it's amazing it's real it's working so you don't need to despite you don't need to hate that your computer again see the solution has arrived the productions let me take you there you already know see start to the produce banger everything smooth running computer your computer will come alive like wow you understand where have you been you just see your computer fresh brand new baby <laughs> Let me show you, let me show you our production. Um, in my laptop because, you know, you can see my config, you know, the specs of this ad, um, Mac. This is what I used to edit my videos and, you know, do my graphics and all of those stuff. But it's very, 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 very slow. Even they can see the specs, you know, with the 10 gig, with the, you know, Core i5. It's supposed to be nice, fast, right? But it's very, very slow, you know. I can't even do much with it. So, after watching a series of... Um, youtube videos i was advised and talking to an expert you know i was advised to get ssd you know in the as a drive in the um, laptop so here we go so i have my two sets which you know i have my two sets here so i've already you know i've opened it up i've checked it i've fixed the drive before to see that it fits in properly so it fits in properly anyway so you know this one te one tetrabyte of the Samsung V9 SSD 860, you know, so yeah, so I've checked it, I've formatted it with my you know desktop here, so just to make sure that everything is safe. So, um, so I'm in the process of um, copying now because I don't want to start at the, from fr as fresh, so I'm in the process of copying what is on my main laptop drive so into my external drive, so I'll be able to you know carbon clone it from here from my desktop so yeah so we're in the process right now our productions so guys let's just see if this is actually going to make our laptop faster we need to upgrade and you can see i'm using a 10 gigabyte ram as i showed you earlier on yes oh wow aha aha so guys this is one of the example unlike before when i'm using this computer to open a project file like this a session file like this is a 49 track project with you know um effect in each channel even not bosses or something effect in each channel and i have a lot of things on the instrument and everything you understand you can see it's loaded if i'm playing something like this on this computer before it will be hanging it will be it's crazy it will just be dragging even though you can see i've shown you my you know my um config you know i have a 10 gig and on a core i5 it's very very slow so i wouldn't be you would not be able to hear the sound because of copyright on youtube or something so but let me just play so you can see the overview of what just watch this cpu meter here you understand this cpu meter you can see especially this place if you can see it's going up that means that is it's about to <laughs> if you can see it's just watch here if you can see the the thing is going up to 25 percent 50 percent it's about to <laughs> get in hang you understand so Let's play it and let's see how a heavy project on Logic Pro would be after, you know, applying, um, after, you know, replacing your previous Addix drive, which is the normal HDDD, HDD, you understand, you know, with a SSD drive, you understand. So, you can see now, it's playing right now, everything is playing with effect, you understand. So, everything is playing that's the intro is playing so after i think from bar this bar here it will load up every, um like the vast um the hook okay a lot of things are playing right now so you can see you can see a lot of things are playing it's 25 percent it's still okay it's playing smoothly no hanging you understand unlike before i must even to play two bars it will just hang i'm using duet you know duet um my my sound card is duet my sound card is duet and it works really nice but regardless of that i still get the system overload and whatnot you understand so this is a breakthrough for every one of us that is using apple macbook pro especially from 2000, 2011 or before 2011 
this is actually going to solve your problem you have solved mine you understand and you know i use final cut pro as well to edit to you understand it is it's a nightmare when i'm using you know final cut pro all those my used youtube video that you guys watch i use final cut pro to edit them and to edit them is crazy using this laptop because it's, it's loading too much i will not be able to do the kind of super super nice effects and graphics i want to do because of the system you know slowing and all those stuff so it's very nice it's very fantastic 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 so you know on this project you can see i have a lot of a lot of effect effect everywhere you know and i've not been able to load up um some of the plugins i use before because I just freshly installed the Mac OS, you know, I see around this. Uh, so yes, so it's working, it's working. As you can see, the CPU is not overloading, it's running smoothly, even though, you understand, it's a heavy, heavy project, you understand, talk less of, if I'm not doing an heavy project, maybe like, you know, let's say for example, 20 to 30 track channels, it's still going to, it will even be running under the 25%, do you understand? So your computer is enjoying and one thing i'll tell you is that don't um overload things whatever you finish a project or something something that you can just you know get yourself external disk drive external drive you know just pack those your old project that you know that you are done with last year project that you know you are not visiting you know you can get something like this you get and put it inside is 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 nice i have a couple of them and they work they work nice for productions so yes so just right before we start you know i want to check how long it does take you know the my previous hard drive to load up before i put the you know ssd inside so let's start now and see with the timer um start and on let's see how long it does take it to load up and we'll compare it with when the SSD is installed. Right now is the you know my normal HDD drive. HD drive. Yes. And we'll see the difference. So not to make this video long, I'm going to stop it and continue from when everything has loaded up on the screen. We are trying to see what the SSD does. Yes. So it took there are about like 20, um, 2 minutes and um, 50 seconds to load up to the desktop to the place but you know all the softwares all the applications have not yet fully loaded up or at least to the desktop it took 2 minutes and 50 seconds there about yes so are we cool with that and you know if I'm to wait for the other software like you know my logic pro x supposed to be open when the windows um when the computer starts up starts up you know the chrome the 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 photoshop you know those guys needs to be open but they are not at the moment they are still coming up but at least up onto the desktop window it took about two minutes plus yes so let's continue on our journey for our production yeah so guys so i tried to do what i told you earlier on about swapping the drives and copying it and um as you can see um carbon clone gave me an error so when i put it back on the laptop you know it was not booting up properly i couldn't hold my camera at that time because i was just a bit upset about you know the technicality of all this so what i just did was to reload a fresh copy of you know mac os you know i sierra so let's see with the ssd new drive in it let me see you know we have 251 initially so let's see how it will take to boot right now so let's go wow this took like you know 30 seconds uh stop 
So this took 30 seconds to do. Wow, what a difference. Although, you know, I might put, you know, in consideration of this is a fresh copy of, you know, Mac OS. I don't have any applications there to load or anything like that. But all, but still, I can still, I can see the difference between them both. You understand? So basically, this video, so basically, this video is just showing us that, you know, uh, SSD is much better than the HDD. So I would advise you guys to basically go and get SSD if you are having having issues with your you know laptop, especially the MacBook Pro, like I showed you that I'm using. So it's basically it's faster, it's faster. So let me see, you know, when I load up my uh, my softwares, you know, for making music, and I'll see maybe I'll be getting system overload or not. What productions? I hope. I encourage somebody to out there to go and get it so once again this is what i got you know this is what i got the samsung you know one terabyte um you know ssd solid state solid state drive it's cool it's nice it's is what the price or is what the investment i believe because i was using 500 gb before you know. yeah so let me install and i'll show you the rest of our productions yeah yeah basically what you need for us is this precision set you understand to open your laptop and i would like to give a warning right here this is at your own risk oh, you understand i'm not liable for anybody that destroyed their laptop if you know that you can't do it just take it to a professional to do it for you so you know i got this you know it's three thousand naira or thereabout you know it would be like you know ten dollars or five ten dollars in you know abroad but it's nice it's okay is it does the work so you know i just turn this is my laptop this is the laptop so i just turn upside down and i unscrewed all the screw here so i unscrewed everything I unscrewed everything i need my two hands actually to do this properly need my two hands okay this there and this one's a long screw so let me just open it i'll come back to this video yeah i need my two hands so yeah so i've unscrewed those screw inside so yeah let we let, let let's open the laptop right now so this is the laptop you know this was inside right now so before that you know when i was shooting you know when i was i said when i was shooting when i was working on it this is the hard drive that came with it this is the normal h dd you understand and now i have the samsung um ssd inside it's very very easy to put and to remove you understand and i know there are a couple of videos on youtube as well to show you how to do that as well so what i did was i removed this um uh, you remove these two screws these two screws and this one but this one i don't know the screw is not really working i just left it like that and i removed this one as well so you'll be able to pull it out with this and there is a like a cable that is attached to the drive so you carefully 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 you understand remove that so as to replace it with this you understand since this is was this was what was there before so what i did was you know i was trying to um um copy my files into my you know copy files my previous files into this one but i couldn't um i'm having having issue with the you know carbon copy cloner so i had a fresh install of the mac os ic era but it's working fine i'll get all my files but since i you know i backed up my files in my drive so i'll be manually doing that back right now so yes um basically this is what you need to do and i'm very very careful when i open this <laughs> Actually, I said that I should try myself, you understand? So I did it and it worked, it worked, it worked, it worked, guys. This is MacBook Pro late 2011, you know, 13 inch MacBook Pro. It's nice, it's amazing, and the SSD is inside. And this is your battery, this is your optical drive, and this is your board. This is where, if you want to change your RAM, you understand? I have um, Crucial, uh, this, I have a 8 gig and I have a um, 4 gig ram so um yeah basically so that's what you do just change just buy this buy this you understand it is what it invest in it buy it you understand you would not regret it i'm telling you i'm not 
advertising for Samsung. Uh, Samsung doesn't know me already. You understand? But I I put it there, and my laptop is working very very fine fine right now. So yes, guys. So the precision set, you know, and uh, drive. Those are the two things that you need to get this done. And your laptop is. You know, you brought your whole laptop back to new life, you understand? Make it fresh and brand new, OI Productions. Yes!